Hi guys, it's Danny. And Richie. And you're watching a very special episode of Nam and JA's Bang Bell Reviews. Yes. Yay! Awesome stuff. Yeah. Okay, so this is a spe um, very special week right now. Um, restaurant week, so we decided to participate. Mm -hmm. We went to three different restaurants. Right? Yeah, we went to Red Bones, which was one of the delectable restaurants. Yeah. We also went to Pizza Please, which was one of the, you know, Nyam and Scram cheaper restaurants. And we even went to Fromage for breakfast, you know. So basically, this video is going to encapsulate our experience so far during restaurant week. Starting off with Red Bones. Yeah. yeah. So stick around for that, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Richie. And I'm Danny. And you are watching episode, I lost count, mm -hmm. of Nama Jamaica's Bang Belly. Where today we will be, you know, enjoying restaurant week, the first day of restaurant week. And right now we are in the parking lot of Red Bones Cafe. It's in the background. It looks kind of dusty. I'm sure you guys will probably see what it looks like. I've never been here before, have you? No, I've never been here. Yeah, I've always actually wanted to visit this place. My mother always told me it was a place to visit because, you know, it has some really good food. So, let's go inside and see what it's all about. So, we got here a little bit too early. We actually had reservations for 7 p.m. But because of New Kingston traffic, we just decided to just come straight here after work rather than go home and come back. Yeah, you guys see that they aren't even really finished setting up the tables yet. So we decided to, you know, hang back behind the bar and, you know, take in some of the sounds, yeah, some of the sights. And, you know, just wait for our tables. There is a lot of stuff back here. There are lots of alcohol, you know, get drunk. <laughs> alcohol, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's also a lot of memorabilia. Mm -hmm. Lots of photos from guests who probably left their mark entertainers and other famous people who you know they probably look up to or you know from yesteryear from or... yesteryear so we decided to you know enjoy a couple of drinks and you know wait on our table at the same time you enjoyed that drink yep delicious yeah well in no time our table was ready you know we decided to eat inside because you know we saw what outside looks like and it would be nice to kind of take in what inside looks like because we've never been here before yeah. like i said so just like the bar there are a lot of pictures, pictures and stuff of memorabilia i enjoyed the artwork and yeah with like r&b and, no, ja and blue jazz and blues, jazz and blues yeah. artists from you know the yesteryear and you can see look like you're very entertained huh so taking a look at the menu, we pretty much know what we wanted from we got here before we even got here because you know we've been looking at the restaurant and wheat menu. So I ordered the baked shrimp that is stuffed with the homemade salted codfish pate. It looks pretty good. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. It has a nice little salad garnishing the plate back there. Yeah. Looks pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Good news is it tastes just as good as it looks. Yeah, it's very juicy and flavorful. I mean, I loved it. Yeah, and this the codfish cream actually adds as a good topping for the salad too. It makes it a very good add-on. Well, while you were enjoying that, I got the Callaloo Strudel, not oh. as appetizing to look at as your own, uh -huh. but it's pretty damn good. Um, that sauce at the bottom, though, that's what made it. Right? Yeah. What actually I did, after we swapped it out, mm -hmm. I actually tried to dip the garlic bread, because they served garlic bread with the appetizers. So what I would try to do is, you know, dip some of the garlic bread into the sauce, and for some, I just, that was probably my favorite part of the entire appetizer. Dipping the garlic bread yeah, into, into the, the cheese sauce. sauce. Overall, I like the appetizers. Yeah, they were pretty good. But they were nowhere near as mouth-watering as the entrees. Yeah, they were pretty damn good. Yeah. And I know Richie loves his pasta. Yep, yep, yep. Whenever I go to these type of places, I always order the pasta. And the lobster pasta and the white wine cream was probably one of the better options of the evening. I must say so. The lobster was soft. The white wine cream sauce was very cheesy. It was it was amazing. That's the best way to describe this pasta. I definitely recommend you guys try it out. Okay, well, I had lamb chops stuffed with feta cheese and herbs in a peppercorn sauce. And uh, with the potatoes on the side and yeah, the string beans. That it, was yummy. Yeah, but honestly, when I saw this, I was kind of expecting something like what my mother would have made. You know, breaded and fried and everything. But... To be honest, this did not look as appetizing to me 
as I had imagined it to be. Why do I look like I'm struggling? <laughs> you were struggling. You always struggle to eat. But wait, there is more. What are you, some sort of salesperson? Yes. Tiramisu! <laughs> yeah, I ordered the tiramisu with a chocolate glaze, which I actually found to be pretty amazing. Normally, I would pick up a cheesecake or a slice of cake, mm -hmm. but look at my face. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I'm surprised, man. The tiramisu was really good. Well, my cheesecake was better. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I had the red velvet cheesecake, and I really wasn't expecting this. I was kind of expecting, you know, the one with the regular red velvet layer, and then our regular um, cheesecake? cheesecake layer. Yeah. Oh, I always hate when people do that. Yeah, so I've never actually seen a cheesecake like this before. You know, a red velvet cheesecake. Yeah. Hmm. So guys, that was our experience at Red Bones. It looks pretty on the inside and the food was pretty good. You know, I, I've never been there before. So, you know, the outside appearance kind of took me aback. But I guess it's something... I, I wanted to apologize for calling it dusty. It's actually rustic. Yeah, That's rustic the actual is term. The proper term. Yeah. So, overall, I really like going to Red Bones. I'm not sure if I'll be going there, like, ever so often. But it's a very good experience. Yeah, what do you think? I love the drinks there. Okay. She loves the drinks. Yeah, their pina coladas are bomb. As you guys saw, she, literally, she, the second she got there, she was just like, drinks up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's the only thing I had. It was a mint julep, that thing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, guys. So, definitely, if you guys have not been to Red Bones, you've never been there before, and you want to visit there, definitely do it while restaurant week's still up. Trust me, guys. You won't regret it. And... As I said before, stick around for our next episode where we'll be talking about pizza, please. Um, yeah. And fromage, right? And fromage, yeah. yeah. But this is only part one. So part two is going to focus on pizza, please. And part three is going to be fromage. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like it, you know what to do. Hit the comments up, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Or, you know, check out our Facebook and Twitter page and also our Instagram for videos. Yeah, right? all of that wonderful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And until next time, guys, peace.